sparkling in the nighttime sky, the Richmond International Raceway with a full house of 107,097 fans watching this race under caution after a multi-car pileup triggered between Jimmy Spencer and Casey Mears. Mike Held, the president of NASCAR, stepped into the booth. Mike, we were talking about uh, the fact that Jimmy Spencer's still on the racetrack. We're going to show a couple replays you folks have looked at to, to decide to let Jimmy continue racing. Yeah, earlier before this caution, we had warned both the 4 and the 41 about the activity that was going on on the racetrack. Then when the caution occurred, the initial reaction was is that the, the 4 might have caused this accident, and so there was question of whether or not what we would do with the 4. While we were reviewing everything, we had the 4 to stay out there. And in the meantime, after looking at the replays, if you could watch the 41 and the four, particularly from the two cars in car camera or one of the early replays where the four and the 41 are coming through turn four together. And if you watch the white, if you watch the white hash marks, you see that that the 41, the 41 drifts down uh, closely. If you see the white hash marks, the 41 comes down. He's racing. He's racing to get in behind the two there. And he comes down and cuts off into the four and it causes the accident. We've we've determined this is a racing accident and we're not going to do anything with the four. All right, Mike. Okay. Appreciate the clarification. Right, Thanks. Thank you, Mike, very much. Mike Helton, president of NASCAR. So Jimmy Spencer is out on track. That is Jimmy in the red four car. You may want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking his head. No, I'll go back to my perch. <laughs> And we're back underway. Jeremy Mayfield, the leader, Kurt Busch second, Ryan Newman third, Rusty Wallace fourth, Matt Kenseth fifth. And one of the uh, two drivers involved in the beginning of the accident is Nick Martin. And that would be Casey Mears, Allen, and that had been going on for a long time with a four car. Do you feel it was intentional on Jimmy Spencer's part to wreck you? Well, I mean, it definitely wasn't unintentional. I mean, he was running hard. Whether he meant to spin me out, I don't know, but he definitely meant to hit me. And, uh, championship lead he wanted that lucky dog but we were faster you know and we cleared him and then the four car just flat took me out i don't know what he was thinking i mean it hurt a lot of good cars behind us and uh just another unfortunate day for the target team i mean we really had a good car there at the end i felt like we made some adjustments if we got back on that lead lap we'd have a good car and uh i just have no idea what jimmy was thinking to hear a lot of cars another crash on the racetrack alan it would be ward burton up against the wall in turn three yellow flag is out and all poor words hate ward he's been trying to do that all night over there in three and four he has been up along that wall at least three times tonight. And the car will not roll forward, so he's trying to figure out what he can do to get to go forward because he wants to go in the garage area to yeah. get this over. I think he's a, trying to back up to the entrance yeah. there. Yeah, there's an entrance they use during practice right there in the middle of three and four, and Ward is going to duck into it. Pit road is closed. Ward knocked the commitment cone down into the middle of the pit lane entry, and somebody's going to run over that and damage the nose of a car if they try and stop. I didn't think that thing was going to last all night, sitting out in the yeah. middle of the racetrack like that. So things are getting interesting. Mm, boy, they ever. There's that cone you're talking about, and yes, that could do some damage to those front ends on these race cars. Everybody's missed it so far. All right, now. Whatever I talked about when Jimmy Johnson being damaged, maybe bringing the 400 point mark back into play. The top 10 drivers plus any additional within 400 points of the championship leader at the end of tonight's race will qualify to race for the championship. There are your top 10 as of right now. And look how interesting it gets behind. Get Casey, two more guys. Casey Kane and Mark Martin are tied. Labonte is within the 400 points. And Kevin Harvick only 10 points out. McMurray only 22 out. And that is to Jeff Gordon, now the championship leader, who runs 14th in this race. As Gordon moves forward, that could kick those guys back out. If Gordon has trouble, it kick, could kick even more guys in to this chase for the next L Cup. Ooh, and we're not even to halfway yet. What lies ahead here at Richmond? Don't go away. It's going to be wild. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. Lights are on and the fans on their feet at the Richmond International Raceway. 107,000 of them watching the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. And there's been a little rocking and rolling out there lately with Robbie Loomis, crew chief for Jeff Gordon. You knew there was a bullseye on your car. There's a big one now. How is his ride? The DuPont's uh, Chevrolet has been handling great. We'd like to win this thing for Chevrolet tonight. It's just one of the things up and down. The car started out extremely well there early. We lost the handle on it, got a little tight. It's got to come back to us just now. We need to get some track position back. This DuPont team's doing a great job. Did you get any damage out there in that incident? 
No, we got a little damage right on the front end, but nothing we think it'll bother the car at all. Robbie, good luck. Thanks. So Jeff Gordon now has to try and make his way through traffic, and obviously a lot of people thinking about 400 points. Jeff Gordon running in 14. In the race at the moment, the new championship leader with Jimmy Johnson back in the garage area. Mark Martin running right behind Jeff Gordon on the racetrack, and he's thinking about whether or not there would be some uh, targeting on the speedway. See if you could talk to the 10 about being a little bit more careful and not as wild. Tell him he's scaring me to death. I'm trying to make this race for the chase, and he's just so wild, he scared me. 24 wants to let you know you're sorry about uh, getting into you there. It's okay, man. And before they went back to green in the previous caution, Mark, who had pitted and was back in the field, got on the radio and said, please help me with as many guys in front of me as you can. Make sure they are aware of our situation. Like you talked about earlier, <laughs> Wally, guys' guts twisted tight inside the Absolutely. race car. And Mark's, and Mark's one of those guys, if you know Mark, Mark, his gut is tighter than anybody out there. He wants it bad. And, and you're trying to be as careful as you can, but you, it's hard to control the things that are going around, you know, beside you other guys and race cars having their own agenda. Mark running in the race right now in 15th place in the chase in 10th. Jeremy Mayfield, the leader, back under green. Black car to the inside, the 09 of Mike Wallace is now the first car one lap down. Lead lap, 25 drivers. Last up in Bobby Hamilton Jr. And let's mention that to the garage after these recent wrecks, Ward Burton, Jimmy Johnson, Brian Vickers, Casey Mears, and Scott Wimmer all behind the wall getting repairs to their cars. Tell you what, this 19 car, Jeremy Mayfield, he's doing everything he possibly can to be in the top 10 of NASCAR next to a couple points because He's fast and he's standing in the front and he's staying out there. And, and he's in the safest place you could be on that racetrack right now. He's not around anybody. Guys like Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon and all those guys are 14th and 15th, but they're two abreast all the way back, so they're like 30, 35th really on the racetrack. So Mayfield is definitely in the place to be. Hey, a couple of the guys I'm so impressed with. Kevin Harvick in the 29, Bobby Labonte in the 18, right in that crowd we're racing with, doing what they need to do tonight to try and get into this uh, chase. Our singular wireless race talk poll, which driver will win his first short track victory before the others? Well, that was my pick, but not tonight. Jimmy Johnson, A, 35%, Casey Kane, 33. Looks like those are the two leaders. Obviously, the vote's tabulated just before <laughs> the wreck <laughs> happened, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for your participation. Riding on board with Robbie Gordon there for a second. Singular car having a uh -oh, tough we fight. Got trouble in two. That will be Casey, Casey Kane. Kane. Just in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he spun. Will it run? Will it run? Can he get it going? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's gonna get lapped. He's trying. He's, He's gonna have trying. to back up. He's trying. He's going to get lapped. Oh, man. Oh. And right now, we have 25 cars in the lead lap. Boy, oh, boy. Now he's got it running, but he's going to be a lap down. And he just ran over that piece of metal with the left rear that came off his car. Hopefully, he didn't cut a tire, although he's probably flat-spotted him anyway. Okay. Casey Kane will come into the frame from the right side of your screen. Like he gets a little bump from behind, maybe, by Junior. Well, let's see what the 8 says about it. Yep. Yep, just a little bit of a bump from Junior, and around goes Casey. One of those rule of five things where the fifth car back from where the bottle up happened, huh? Dave? Just check with Todd Barrier, crew chief for the 29. He said, we're pretty good, a little bit loose in. They decided to pit now, put a, a, just a little bit of a spring rubber into the right rear. Marty? Jamie McMurray, 11th in points, struggling with a very loose race car. His teammate, Casey Mears, is going to give him their best sets of tires for later in the race. All scuffed sets of tires that Casey has already graded, trying to make the 42 car a little bit better. 
So caution flag is out here at Richmond International Raceway, the ninth one of the night. You're watching NASCAR on TNT.